when you have a short meditation session like this. You want to make the quality compensate for the lack of quantity. So give it your full attention as you breathe in. Let the breath be the one thing in the world that matters right now. As you breathe out, it's the one thing that matters. Any of the stray thoughts that may come wandering in, you just blow them away. Because you've got work to do here, and it requires your full attention. Because when the Buddha gained awakening, where did he gain awakening? It was right here, right where the body and the mind meet at the breath. So he saw something here that you're not seeing, which means you have to look more carefully. So that's what intentness means as a basis for success. You give it your full attention. You put your whole heart into it. Because we are training both the heart and the mind. In Pali, the word jitta covers both. So give it your enthusiasm. Give it your intent as a focus. And really notice what's going on when a distracting thought begins to appear in the mind. How does it begin? All too often we're aware of the distractions only when we're in them already. When we've been kidnapped by them. One of the Forrest of John's images of you're sitting here and all of a sudden someone comes with a big sack and slips it over your head, carries you off, and dumps you off someplace else. In other words, you're here and then you're someplace else. What happened in between? Well, what happened in between is what you want to know. Because that's how you can begin to see how the mind creates little worlds for itself. And in creating those worlds, it develops a habit that makes it easy for it to move on to another life the next time. And it's not necessarily the case that the worlds that you create are ones that you really want, or ones that are going to be good for you. So it's a dangerous process, which is why we want to see it clearly. That requires your full attention all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out, all the way in between. Make sure you're right here, paying full attention to what you're doing. As the Buddha said, the Dharma is nourished by committing to it and then reflecting on what you're doing. So commit. You're fully here. And then you watch what's happening. And that's how the Dharma grows.